Hello, and welcome to our Signal 4 video series. Today I'm coming into our video as a ConnectWise Manage user who is using ConnectWise and receiving and creating tickets as needed. However, what I have noticed is during the after hour shifts, my users are not being alerted as efficiently as possible. So today I want to go ahead and give you some of the ways we can solve that issue. So one of the ways we could solve this is by using another program out there called Signal 4. And what Signal 4 actually does is it's going to receive the events from our ConnectWise, create an alert from those events, and then send those alerts out to your technicians via voicemail, SMS, or push notifications, or any combination of those three. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to connect Signal 4 with ConnectWise and to give you an overview of the added benefits you have by configuring Signal 4 for different types of after-hour alerts. So the first thing we have here is we need to set up the connection between ConnectWise and Signal 4. And I've already done that on my side here, but let me just give you a quick glance of what this looks like. So inside of Signal 4, if I go to my integrations and then the install tab, we'll see here that I have a ConnectWise professional services connection. And this is labeled as such because the professional services is the board I'm pulling my tickets from. Now I can pull from multiple different boards, but it does require a different connector for each board here which you're allowed to do and is quickly and easily set up. So you'll see here that I have all of my settings for my ConnectWise Signal 4 connection. And Signal 4 is even great enough to give you an integration guide here, including a video for step-by-step -step instructions on how to set this connection up that you can follow along with and use. So now that we have the integration set up, let's see this in action. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to my ConnectWise and I'm going to go ahead and create a new service ticket here. And I'm going to go ahead and say my SQL is down. So we have an emergency. None of our programs are working because they can't reach the SQL services. So this is a priority one meeting. We need immediate help. So I'm going to go ahead and create this and save it. And now that the ticket is created, what happens is Signal 4 will actually reach in look for any new tickets, find this new ticket here, and then create an event and consume this event to create an alert inside of Signal 4. And as you can see here, I'm already being alerted via my cell phone that we have a new Signal 4 alert via the phone call. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that. And if I go ahead and scroll down here, in addition to receiving the phone call, I actually received a text message as well, and it's in there as for me to use as well. However, for our purposes today, we're going to let that go. So now what I have here is I have a brand new alert inside of Signal 4, and I can see this in both the mobile app and the web portal here, showing me that we have a SQL is down alert. And if I expand that out in both systems, we'll actually see that they look a little bit differently, but they hold all the same information inside of them, letting us know everything that was sent to us. And if I go ahead and acknowledge this alert inside of Signal 4, it actually sends the acknowledgement back to ConnectWise, and we'll see the status here of our ConnectWise ticket change from new and unassigned to actually have an assignment and it'll change to in progress. So I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge this now. And then we'll come back over here and I'll refresh again inside of ConnectWise. And we'll see here that it is now set to in progress. And it's set to my ticket owner of Robert. And I keep the Signal 4 to let me know that this was assigned from Signal 4. And this works in reverse as well. So if I go ahead and close this ticket here inside of ConnectWise and save that, this closure will actually carry over into my Signal 4 alerts. And we'll actually see this alert change from the acknowledge state to the close state automatically, letting us know that it was updated and closed inside of ConnectWise via the system events. And as we can see here, now my ticket now shows as closed and the icon actually changed from my icon to the system icon, letting me know at a quick glance that it was closed by the system and not by a Signal 4 user. So now because this is after hours alerting, we want to ensure that our users only get alerted on our important tickets and not all of the generic tickets that might come through over the evenings. So in order to do that, we can actually go back into our Signal 4 web portal. And if I go underneath my team, and we're going to go to the IT Ops team because that's our team we're working with right this second that's receiving the events. And I'm going to go under the signaling option. Here we have this new option called the overrides. 
And what this does is this allows us to set it up so that I'm only get alerted from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. on Monday through Tuesday and then so on and so forth. With the exception of Thursday, I have here set to 2 p.m., but that's just so we can see this in action currently. And you'll see here that I've picked a couple different categories. And these are the categories that, in my case, most of our extra tickets get sent to. So I want to make sure that we suppress the signals from these categories, ensuring us that we only get our priority one tickets. So let's go ahead and see this in action real quick as well. So I'm going to create a new alert here. And this time I'm going to say user is locked out of Outlook. Not an emergency, so we don't need our users to wake up in the middle of the night and work on this guy who just locked himself out of Outlook. We can unlock it first thing in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and save this ticket. And again, we'll see this ticket show up inside of Signal 4 within just a little bit of time. However, because this is one that we don't want to get alerted on, if I actually won't see it inside of the app, because I won't actually create an alert on it. So if I go back to my Signal 4 web portal and I go down here into my integrations and the events that come through, we'll actually see that we already received it. The user is locked out of Outlook here and we'll see that this was suppressed, meaning no alert is created. So we won't wake your users up out in the evenings after hours for non-important events. And as we can see here that we actually went to the default category, which is one of our suppressed categories. So this is how we can suppress events to ensure that your technicians are only getting alerted after hours for important events and not for everything that happens to come through. So now the last thing we need to show here is how do we ensure that our users are on duty overnight and not forgetting or just not logging in because they don't want to get alerted at night and woken up. And we can actually do that inside of Signal 4 as well. If I go under my teams again and then the IT ops team again, we have an option called Shift and Duty, where I can open this up, and we'll see here that I have a couple of scheduled shifts created for my user. So he's coming on duty at 6 p.m. at the end of our actual office hours, and he goes off duty at 8 a.m. right before our office opens back up to ensure that we have coverage after hours for any alerts that may come in. And what this is actually going to do is it's going to automatically push my user on duty at 6 p.m. and then take him off duty at 8 a.m. So he's only going to get alerted here through my after hours. Same thing with Friday coming on at 6, but not going off until 8 a.m. on Monday, ensuring we have full coverage on our after hours weekend, as well as just the evenings on the weekdays. And this is how we can use Signal 4 in conjunction with ConnectWise to ensure that our users are getting alerted after hours in an efficient and timely and informative manner. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.